Hi, the topic of the video lesson is medians, bisectors and altitudes of a triangle. Let's take a look at some triangle ABC. The median of a triangle is the line segment that connects the vertex of the triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. That is, if I take, for example, vertex A, I mark the middle of side BC and connect this segment. Let's mark this point E. AE will be called the median of this triangle. That is, the median is a segment connecting the vertex with the middle of the opposite side. This means that BE equals EC. I can draw a median from point B in the same way. To do this, I mark the middle of the segment AC. Let's say point F and connect. That is, AF equals FC. I will mark it with two dashes. And in the same way, I can draw a median from point C. Let's say we have point K here. And segment BK is equal to the segment AK. There is a very important property of medians. All three medians of triangle intersect at one point. But we will not prove this right now. Let's consider the concept of a bisector. Let's have a triangle ABC. We already know what the bisector of an angle is. This is the beam that divides the angle in half. In the case of a triangle, a sector of a triangle is the segment of the angle of the triangle that connects the vertex of that angle to a point on the opposite side. That is, if I draw a bisector from point A. So, it is the beam that bisects angle A. And this bisector intersects the opposite side at some point, let's say E. The segment AE in this case will be called the bisector of the triangle. Thus, the bisector is a segment connecting the vertex of a triangle with a point on the opposite side and dividing the angle in half. I can also draw a bisector from point B. That is, I have angle B divided in half here. And in the same way, I can draw a bisector from point C. Let's say K. And then the angle C is also divided into two equal angles. The property of the bisector is the same as that of the median. All three bisectors intersect at one point. But this point is not the intersection point of the medians. They are coincident only in certain types of triangles. And the next concept is the altitude of the triangle. Let's have triangle ABC again. But this time let's make our triangle acute angled. This means that all angles of this triangle will be acute. Then the altitude of the triangle is called the perpendicular drop from the vertex to the opposite side. Let's say I can drop the perpendicular from point A to side BC. We can see something like this as a result. This is point H. Then the segment AH is called the altitude of the triangle. I can drop an altitude from vertex B in the same way. That is, I drop the perpendicular from point B to side AC. Then BE will also be the altitude. And in the same way I can drop an altitude from point C. Let's say I get point K. CK will also be the altitude. As in the three previous cases, all three altitudes intersect at one point. But there is an important note for altitudes. All three altitudes intersect inside only if the triangle is acute. That is, if all the angles are acute. There are other cases as well. For example, the triangle is rectangular. A triangle is right-angled if one of the angles is 90 degrees. Let's say we have a right triangle ABC. In this case, if I want to drop the altitude from point A to side BC, then this altitude will coincide with the AC side itself, because we have a perpendicular here, and we know that we can drop only one perpendicular from a point. So in this case, AC will be the altitude itself and the side, and the altitude from point B is the side BC itself. And if I want to drop the altitude from point C, then it will be something like this. Let's say the altitude CH. Well, then I have all three altitudes intersect at one point. As you can see, AC, BC and CH intersect at point C. If the point was inside the triangle here, then it is already on the side of the triangle here. And let's consider the last case, when we have an obtuse triangle. That is, one of the angles of the triangle is obtuse, that is, more than 90 degrees. Let's say we have such a triangle and it is clear that the angle C is more than 90 degrees. Then, if I want to drop the altitude from point A to side BC, 
then this altitude will be outside the triangle. That is, it will be dropped not on the side BC, but on the continuation of the side BC. That is, in this way I continued the side BC, I dropped an altitude from point A, and it will be dropped on the continuation of side BC, because this angle is obtuse. Let's say this is point E, then AE will still be the altitude of this triangle. Now, if I want to drop the altitude from point B, then it will also drop on the continuation of side AC. That is, I continue side AC, drop a perpendicular from point B. Let's say we have point F here. BF will be the altitude of the triangle, and the altitude from point C will be already inside the triangle as usual. Let's say CK here. Will all altitudes intersect at some point? Actually, they will, but not the altitudes themselves, but their continuation. That is, if I continue the altitude AE, continue the altitude BF, and continue the altitude CK, then they will intersect at one point, but this point will be outside the triangle. Let's deal with the following example. Let the median AD be dropped in the triangle ABC. The median, as we know, is the line segment that connects the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Median AD, that is, the segment BD is equal to DC. Then this median was continued, and the point E was marked on it, so that the segment AD turned out to be equal to the segment DE. I will mark them with one dash. Now connect point C and point E. And we need to prove that triangle ABD is equal to triangle CDE. How can we prove it? Let's take a look at these triangles ABD and CDE. What do we see? BD equals DC because AD is the median and bisects the side. AD was equal to DE by condition, and also the angle ADB and the angle CDE are vertical angles, so they are equal to each other. If they are equal to each other, then we have in this triangle and this triangle, both of the sides and the angles between them are equal. Then, according to the first sign of triangle equality, these triangles will be equal. That is, we have proved that triangle ABD is equal to triangle CDE. This video lesson is over.